is Fresh Pet, FRPT, revolutionizing the $22.5 billion pet food industry, or is it merely another small cap speculative flash in the pan? For those of you who aren't familiar, Fresh Pet has taken a novel approach to pet food. They're the only company whose product is actually refrigerated. Basically, Fresh Pet sells all-natural meat-based pet food. It's made with minimal processing, embracing the kind of natural organic zeitgeist that's been so popular when it comes to human food. Now, we highlighted Fresh Pet on the show this past March while it was still private in our off-the-tape segment and highlighted the company as a truly disruptive force in the pet food industry, which it is. Then the company came public in early November, pricing at $15 a share. Fresh Pet roared on its first day, rallying 27%, close at $19.11. However, since then, the stock has been languishing, and even after today's 6% run, still only trading at $18 and change, below where it opened after the IPO. Last night, Fresh Pet reported its first quarter out of the gate uh, as a public company. The results were solid, which is part of the reason why I think the stock rallied $1.05 today. Can Fresh Pet stop trading sideways and start climbing? Let's take a closer look with Richard Thompson, the CEO of Fresh Pet, to learn more about his company and where it's headed. Mr. Thompson, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to hey, see you, good sir. Good, good, to, see you. good, good to, to see you. Good to see you. You know, I was thinking, I was doing a lot of work on, uh, on PetSmart. And I was picking on their website. One of the people from PetSmart was mad at me that I did. But I said, listen, I can, I can get all this stuff on Amazon. No yeah. Amazon. Yeah. They don't ship refrigerators yet, I don't think. <laughs> no. This is the only part of pet food they can't come after. Yeah, it? no, absolutely. We got a big niche there in right. that uh, we got something that Amazon can't do, at least right now. Now, when you go, I think people have to understand, this, it, this comes with it, and aesthetically, the companies that you deal with, the customers, they like this. They, lo they love it. It's that this refrigerator is, you know, four feet, kind of by eight feet. It's bolted to the floor. It goes into our retailers. It's got a big light on it and a big brand, and it's just innovation. So when they're walking down the aisle, it's like, oh, my gosh, look at this. What's going on here? So we're actually bringing people to the aisle and even bringing them to the aisle more often. Uh, than they are. Now, your expansion plans are pretty rapid. Uh, even in the time, you think, since we saw you, you've gotten into a lot more doors. Yeah, right? we're in about 13,300 stores now and growing. Now, um, you do have raw costs. Like, you know, a lot of the stuff that's in our regular food is kind of junk, regular yeah. pet food. You actually use real chicken. Yeah, real Chicken's chicken, expensive right real now. Real chicken, real beef, real turkey. But it's expensive. How yeah. can you, how will people will pay up? Yeah, well, we, first of all, we want to do what's right for the pet. So right. we want to have the right proteins. We want to have the best quality we can find because we're not looking for everybody in the market. We're looking for the people that are looking for the health and wellness, for the humanization trend. We're after those folks that want to do the right thing for the pet. Yes, it's probably a little more expensive, right. but to pay a little bit more to get a bigger value and a lot more love from your pet, I'm in. Okay, now you say bigger value, a lot more love from your pet, but there's been no scientific study that says that natural or organic has done length in life or anything like that. No, but my mom tells me that fresh is better. I, you know, that, that's probably one of the pre, that's why the price earnings ratio is going higher. Um, now, uh, okay, so we tried it, and we tried the big one, and I gotta tell you, I felt uncomfortable after I opened it, the dogs didn't eat all of it, and I put it back in. Is there an objection from people besides me who just say, wow, I don't really want that in my refrigerator after I've opened the big one? Well, not really, because um, we find that people like to interact with their pets, and actually the uh, big rolls that we have, people like to slice them and cut them, while the pet's um, uh, anxiously waiting to get the, the food. So it, it's kind of like you're interacting with the pet, interacting with the food, and actually not cooking, but almost cooking for the pet. Then everybody has a different way to do it, um, whether they turn it upside down and put it on a paper towel, or whether they put cellophane on it, or whether they cut it up. Some people cut it up and put it in a baggie. So everybody's got to wait. But the idea is right. to buy the right size and right. use it within the and week. And that's it's what gone. we didn't and do. And it smells that's, like human food. Right. That's what we didn't do. We used the big one. We shouldn't yeah. have used the big you one. should have used the small one. Um, you, are you in any kennels? Uh, you mean with the product sold in kennel? Yeah. No, not right now. With a lot of kennel people use our product. I know. I think that'd be killer. Yeah, killer well, application. Right. You know I that? want to put your name on that idea. I am not kidding. We go to Monster <laughs> Mutt. I, mean, I'm telling you, we've, I feel like they're charging us for it. Yeah, well, they probably are. <laughs> okay. Now, when you uh, do it, you're largely domestic, but because of your... People should understand, you're a, you're a pet food guy. You're, yeah, yeah, you're the most yeah. successful brand manager in pets. Yeah, well, I... Aren't you now disrupting all of your old friends in this industry? Yes, absolutely. We are disrupting the category with this new um, innovation we have with fresh refrigerated, all natural, no preservative food, right. is that nobody's been able to do this. There's a lot of barriers around this because not only we have refrigerated right. manufacturing, we have refrigerated distribution, and this great food. And I think people have to understand that you won't let other refrigerated pe uh, pet food in this. No. And no one's going to take two refrigerators side by side, right? Well, not, not right now. We hope the category grows. And, you know, at some point we're doing well. Uh, you know, we were up 35% last quarter. No, I know. Last question. In Europe, they'll go crazy for this, right? Yes, yes. 
So that's next. Well, you know, anybody, China first. You know anybody I should be talking to? Uh, I think you pretty much know everybody in the world <laughs> in this business. That's Richard Thompson, CEO of Fresh Pet, FRPT. Okay, listen, I'm going to say it. Ola McCoppelin, the dogs will eat it. Stick with Kramer. Thank you.